Hello, my pretties. It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 236 of Shadows and Pretties. And today we are going to be reviewing a different movie that a lot of people may remember this movie. But like I said before, uh, this is the channel when I do Shadows and Pretties every now and then. I basically, you know, review stuff like whatever be TV shows, uh, movies, video games, etc. So today I'm going to review this movie that came out in 2010 that stars Adam Sandler, Kevin James, David Spade, Chris Rock, and, and a bunch of other actors like um, Selma Haig, Ra, uh, Schneider, Dennis Duggan, and so many more. Now this movie today we're going to be reviewing today is called Grown Ups. Now, Grown Ups is pretty much a comedy movie, movie, for any of you wondering. Um, basically, Grown Ups is a comedy film that's been directed by Dennis Duggan and written by Adam Sandler and, and Fred Wolf. So, this movie is definitely a really interesting, but also a really funny movie. And this one says it came out in 2010. I gotta say right now that... I love Adam Sandler's movies, and I know Adam Sandler's been in so many movies, and every time I see Adam Sandler in a movie, he always makes me laugh. He's funny, his characters he plays as are really well made. I mean, maybe there might have been maybe a few films of his that he starred in that didn't, you know, be as successful, but the Hotel Transylvania movies that he's in, he plays as Dracula, for any of you wondering, yeah. Um, that's the same Adam Sandler I'm talking about. I like his movies, and I still find Adam Sandler to be a really funny guy. He's funny. I do find it to be a really good movie. So, well, this film came out in 2010. Now, I kind of watched the movie, I believe, uh, back in 2013 or 14. I'm not really sure or if I remember correctly when I actually watched the movie, but this movie is definitely one of the best Adam Sandler movies that I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen a couple other funny guys movies like Will Farewell and etc. So this one is definitely one movie I gotta really say is a pretty interesting, interesting movie. It's funny. I gotta really say it's a pretty funny one for this movie to be coming out in 2010. So... I guess with that being said, and I'm going to try and wrap this up. Well, not wrap this up. I was just saying, well, let me just get started with the, um, well, with the review of this movie. For any of you guys who are wondering during about this movie, for those who haven't seen it in a long time, or for those who really want to know what the movie is about or are planning to see it, but not really sure if the movie's good or not, well... I guess I should get started with that. So, anyways, let's get started. So, anyways, I'm going to be putting up a warning right now and a disclaimer saying that I'm going to be spoiling pretty much everything about this movie. So, if you don't want to see me spoil it, I suggest you click off this video right now and watch um, Grown Ups. You will not regret it. Anyways, um, this movie takes place in 1978. Childhood friends Lenny Feder. Eric Lam Lamanskoff, Kurt McKenzie, Marcus Higgins, and Rob Hillard with their junior high school basketball championship. They celebrate it at a lake house with their coach, Robert Buzzer, Fernando. However, fast forward to 30 years later, in 2008, Lenny is a wealthy and successful Hollywood talent agent, married to a fashion designer, Roxanne, and has three children named Greg, Keefe, and Becky. Eric claims to have co-owned a lawn furniture company who has two children named Donna and Bean. His wife Sally still, well, breastfeeds Bean, but Kurt is a stay-at-home father and has two children named Andre and Charlotte. His wife Dean is pregnant with their fair third child, and their mother, Ron Ronzoen, lives with them. So Marcus is a slacker and pretty much a, a Lofaro row. Rob gets married to a much older and fourth wife, Gloria, later on. So when Buzzer dies, the five friends reunite for his funeral, funeral all in their hometown with their families. 
Lenny rents the Earnshaw's family lake house for everyone to stay over for the 4th of July weekend. Although this family is leaving early to attend to Roxanne's fashion show in Millen, he pushes, he pushes Greg and Keefe to play outside and runs to his childhood opponent, Dickie, who claims that Lenny's foot was out of bounds when it was just a winning shot. As the friends spread buzzer's ashes, Rob breaks down over his failed marriages and reveals that he has invited his strange daughters, Jasmine, Amber, and Bridget, to visit. So the men play arrow roulette, shooting the arrow straight into the air. However, Rob wins by not running for cover. But when the arrow impales his foot, Lenny is thrilled to find the kids playing with the cup and string telephones. Roxanne realizes the positive impact of the weekend is having on their children and telling Lenny to cancel their million trip and stay at the lake instead. So everyone visits the water fizz where Marcus flirts with Jasmine and Amber after buying them skimpy bikinis and Eric teaches Bean on how to drink cow's milk. The families then cause chaos throughout the park and however though the wives attract the bodybuilder and then jeer at the high-pitched Canadian accent. Rob assaults si a slide attendant Norby when he insults Bridget, and Eric go ignores Donna's warning about the chemical in the children's pool that turns urine blue. At the zipline attraction, however, Lenny's group then meets up with Dickie and his former teammates, including Wiley, who is a severely injured Jared after crashing his sled down a zipline on his feet. After returning to the lake house, Lenny then teaches his son to shoot a bank sh shot and the couples end the night dancing together. However, the next day, Rob attacks Marcus, mistakenly believed that he slept with Jasmine, and Marcus admits to feeling insecure compared to his happily married friends. Everyone then comes clean about their state of their lives. Roxanne confronts Lenny for canceling their flight to Millian before they left home, and he admits that he wanted their family to have a normal vacation. However, Dean confronts Kurt for spending time with the Fedders' nanny, Rita. But Kurt retaliates by pointing out how underappreciates him. Eric reveals that he was laid off from his job, and Rob admits that everyone already knows that he wears a trope, which is a hairpiece or partial wig. Gloria helps everyone reconcile, and Lenny and Kurt offer to help Eric start a new business. So on their last day of the lake house... House Lenny and his friends agree to rematch against Dickie, Guy, Rob, Robidukes, Musby, Trardro, and Malcolm. The game accumulates as Lenny and Greg face in Dickie and his son, but Lenny misses the game deciding shot, but the families watch the 4th of July fireworks as Lenny tells Roxanne that, that he let the Dickies family win to get him off his case and felt like that his own family needed to know what losing felt like. A drunken Marcus plays another game of arrow roulette and the crowd freeze in panic. Trapped by a full body cask, tasked Wiley is struck on the foot with the arrow, declaring, We win again before fainting. Thus, how the movie ends. Now, this was a pretty good movie, and I gotta really say, it's a really funny movie, especially with, you know, the fact that this movie is basically, you know, have Adam Sandler, you know, pretty popular actors, because we all know Adam Sandler, um, Kevin James was in a couple movies as well, he's another one, Chris Rock, although there were a bit of controversy with him and Will Smith, if there was a bit of a controversy around, about those two but I'm not going to get into that controversy about what happened with them because well like not at the time when this movie was aired or anything but I think it was just last year maybe it was a year before or something I don't know so I'm not going to get into detail on that because that's not that's not the right film for it. well video for it anyway the filming condensed in in the Essex country Massachusetts in August of 2009, as Chiriboro Lake is was the main portray of the fictional Amoskeag Lake, where where the Earnshaw's family lake house setting was. So of course the Woodman Men's was used for a restaurant at Woodman's Eat in the Rough, and Water Whiz was also used 
for the park's water park scene. Of course, there is also a sequel to this movie called Grown Ups 2, which, which came out at least a few years later on my dad's birthday of 2013. So, yeah, I will be reviewing Grown Ups 3, well, 2 in the later future, just not really sure when that will be. This movie was definitely a pretty funny one. I mean, I love the acting. I like the characters. I mean, I really liked the whole movie. It was really funny. I mean, it was really funny. I mean, yeah, there was some jokes that were pretty crazy, and some of them were funny, too. too. But overall, I found Grown Ups to be a really awesome movie. It's definitely, I recommend you guys check out this movie if you haven't. It's got pretty good scenes. I liked Adam Sandler in this movie. I thought he was funny. I still find him really funny and you know, in general. We all know Adam Sandler did a lot of these movies, and this one is definitely one of them. I recommend checking it out. So I actually remember watching this movie. I don't know if I was in school when I saw this. I might have been in school when I saw this movie when a teacher said, hey, we're going to watch a movie. And then when they played this movie, I honestly was like, oh, yeah, I remember this one. I didn't really, that was the first time I watched it, but I haven't watched it in, like, years. I gotta really rewatch this movie again because it was very funny. Very funny, and it was a very, 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 very silly movie. Like, with the characters doing some silly stuff. I mean, I honestly thought it was funny. With the whole concept and all, <laughs> I thought it was a really good movie. And it's funny, too, for any of you guys who are wondering. So... What do I think of this movie? Well, it's a funny one, to say the least. A pretty good movie starring Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, um, Jane, Kevin James, David Spade, etc., etc. It was a very, it's a very funny movie, so I will review the sequel sometime. I'm just don't, I think I might do the sequel in the next episode of Shadows and Prees, but I don't really know right now because I want to try and check out some other movies that I want to be able to review and stuff I mean you know I've got some stuff that I want to review and that I just never had the time to get to them because I've been so busy but I do plan to try and get to it in the future okay I guess with that being said um yeah like I said this is my own opinion on this movie and if you happen to disagree with me that's perfectly fine too we're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these movies this is just my own personal thoughts if you don't like this movie I respect your opinion. If you like this movie, that's awesome. So, I guess with that being said, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done person to help make this movie a lot better? Please leave me your now your thoughts down in the comments below, because I'd like to hear what you guys think. And yes, I will be reviewing Grown Ups 2. Don't know if it'll be the next episode out after this one or not, but it all depends on if I'm... If I ever get the opportunity, I will review Grown Ups too. Anyways, I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you enjoy this upload, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out.